Welcome to the Amped Wireless installation video for the RTA15 High Power Dual Band AC Wi-Fi Router. Before we start, we need to disconnect and power off your existing router. If you do not have an existing router, continue with the next step. Next, we need to power off your broadband modem. To do this, disconnect the power adapter from the broadband modem. Some broadband modems also have backup batteries that keep the modem on even when the power adapter is removed. If your modem has this, remove the battery backup as well. Do not power on the modem until prompted later on in the installation. Once the modem has been powered off, we'll need to connect the amped router to your modem. Locate the antennas included with the product and attach them to the antenna ports on the back of the router. Be sure to attach the antennas to their corresponding antenna connectors on the router. For example, antenna 1 should connect to antenna connector 1 on the router. Not attaching the antennas correctly may reduce Wi-Fi performance. Use one of the included network cables and connect one end of the cable to your modem. Connect the other end to the blue modem port on the router. After the modem has been connected to the router, power on the modem by reattaching the power adapter and backup battery if available. Do not power on the router at this point. Next, let's connect your computer to the router. Use the additional included Ethernet cable and connect one end to one of the four green wired ports on the back of the router. Connect the other end of the cable to an available network port on your computer. Before we attach the power adapter to your router, make sure your computer is not currently connected to any wireless networks. If it is, make sure to first disconnect your computer from wireless networks before powering on the router. Once the router and your computer have powered on, Open your web browser and type http colon forward slash forward slash setup.ampedwireless.com into the web address bar. The web menu supports Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Safari web browsers. If you are using Firefox or any other web browser, please switch to one of the supported web browsers instead and access the menu again. If the web menu fails to open, type in this web address instead. 192.168.3.1 You do not need an internet connection to access the setup menu. It is served from the router directly. If you continue to have problems opening the setup menu, try disabling any third-party firewalls that your computer may have installed and double-check to make sure that your computer is not connected to any wireless networks. When accessing the web menu, it will prompt you to enter a login and password. The default login is admin and the default password is admin. You can change this at a later time. When the router's web menu appears, you will see the welcome page for the dashboard. This page gives you the current status of the router. If the dashboard shows that the router is currently connected to the internet, then you are done with the setup process. If it shows that you do not have an internet connection or if you wish to configure additional settings, Click Basic Setup to configure your internet and wireless settings. A page will appear asking you to confirm your hardware and antenna connections. Click Next to continue. To begin configuring your internet connection, click on Automatic Configuration to allow the router to detect your internet settings. If you are a more advanced user or you have an internet connection that requires you to enter login information or static IP settings, select Manual Configuration. After the router has detected your internet settings, it will prompt you whether the settings were configured correctly or whether more information is needed. If more information is needed, enter the information needed and click Next to continue. If you do not have this information or you are not sure what to do at this point, please contact your network administrator for help or contact our support department at 888-573-8820 to walk you through the rest of the setup. Click Next to continue to the next step of the basic setup wizard. The wireless settings pages allows you to configure settings for your 2.4 GHz wireless network. We recommend that you don't change any of these settings, however if you choose to, you may do so here. The wireless network ID is the identification name of your wireless network that users will use to connect to your wireless network. The default security key for your wireless network is wireless. You will be prompted to enter the security key when connecting to the router wirelessly. You may change the security key here, or to use the recommended default settings, click Next to move on and configure settings for your 5.0 GHz wireless network. After you have configured the settings for your 5.0 GHz wireless network, 
Click Next to apply your settings. The router will now apply your settings and reboot. This process may take up to one minute, so please be patient. If there are any errors with the connection or your settings, you will be notified and asked to reconfigure your settings. If your settings are correct, you will see a summary of your connection details. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your new network. Feel free to detach the Ethernet cable from your computer and connect wirelessly to the router. Connect any wired devices such as computers, Blu-ray players, televisions, and other devices that need network connectivity using the four wired network ports on the back of the router. To wirelessly connect to the router with a computer, simply locate the wireless network icon on the home screen and click it to view available wireless networks. Depending on the dual band capabilities of the wireless adapter or device that you are using, you may see the 2.4 GHz network or the 5.0 GHz network or both. Network connections on the 2.4 GHz band will provide longer range. Network connections on the 5.0 GHz band will provide less interference and faster transfer speeds. Select the one you wish to connect to. Enter the security key Wireless and click OK to connect. That's it. For more information on Amped Wireless products, please visit our website.